guys. Let's do a little lunch metrics. And let's free the bike path. Yeah, be careful with the bike path, please. Kommt nicht alle zu mir, macht ein bisschen Kreis. Guys, let's do a little lunch metrics to warm up the glutes, especially. Like in the good old days with Brian. Five times front with both legs. Run the common loop how often you want. Nice. What's the plan today? Uh, we do a little long run. Um, a little distance in the end. Three weeks exactly till the hill. Exactly three weeks. Yeah. Just an easy long run. Uh, for some, it's even 30 k's because they have a marathon planned afterwards as well. Um, it's all easy today. Uh, in the in so we'll get some, uh, almost everybody. <laughs> so we'll, get, uh, we'll get some feedback on that. Have you been, have you been using the trees yet? Or? No, uh, yes. not the lucky one. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How far are you going? Uh, I'm 20, 25 today only. Okay. Should be enough for me. Some others are going 30, some maybe 15, yeah, yeah. the middle distance runners. So have you been using the uh, the yeah. yeah, actually it's my first run today. Okay, yeah. With them so and you after the run. Yeah, it's but the first K felt great. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm a big fan of the um, twos. Yeah. Oh, I've been a big fan, and I used them, I guess, for like 60% of my run. Yeah. 60%. Yeah, like yeah. almost all. All just the volume at like an easier pace. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and um, I had some problems with my foot. Yeah. And then I even used them for intervals. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess you can really use them for anything. It's probably not going to be as fast as the... Yeah. Fly, but, yeah. Okay, so far, after after a one, after 1K, do you think there's a, a big difference between the twos and the threes, or do they feel quite similar? Um, I think they are more um, stabilized, yep. somehow. Yeah. I actually think the same thing from walking around. Like, uh, yeah. Really more stable. Yeah, yeah. Feels pretty good. Yeah. Cross here again. But um, number two felt softer. Okay, yes, I agree. But exactly. maybe it's yeah. um, because the cushioning still needs to like get warm. Yeah, yeah. So Kevin, you're also racing the Berlin half? Yes, I do. Sub 113 is the goal, is that right? Yeah, yeah yes. correct. Good. Okay, nice. And you've been doing some training on the Invincible 3? Yeah, actually, uh, quite a lot in the last few weeks. Yes. And um, almost on every the surface, so yeah. so I run a lot of times in the woods, yeah. and it's actually surprisingly good for that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Did you use the one or the two beforehand? The two. You did? The second one, yeah. Okay. How would you describe to someone the difference between the two? Uh, it's, a, it's a bit more stable um, and, and faster. A little bit faster? Yeah. A little bit lighter? It propels you forward. Yes. Yeah. I had the same same okay. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was a little bit uh, a little bit less yeah, a little bit more firm. You know, I took it yes. A little bit more stable, but also it's still still pretty solid. Yeah. What were you racing on the on the yeah, um, I've never read. Yeah, probably in the vapor fly. Yep. Um, I haven't decided yet. Okay. okay. Still got three weeks to decide. Yes. <laughs> well I have a question for you because you've done a lot of travelling. Where's your favorite place to go to do running training? You've just been in South Africa for a while? I've been in South Africa for three months now. Yeah. And it always depends what you focus on. Yes. In my case, I'm deep in my, in my heart, I'm a trail runner, so yeah. South Africa is perfect. Yeah. Um, 
I want to run the road, I don't know. I guess boulder would be a good option for everything. Yes. Um, Have you been? I've been there for a couple of days, but okay. not for running. Back then I wasn't running. Yeah. But, uh, aiming to go there this year. Okay. So we'll see. And in Berlin, where do you guys uh, train? Yesterday we were out at the, the dirt track, or the snow track. Yeah. <laughs> Today we're at the Tier Garden, which is pretty close to the start finish of the Berlin Marathon. Exactly, we're running past it basically. Yeah. Um, it, I guess it depends where you where you are based in Berlin. Because yep. Berlin is quite spread spread out. Yes. Um, I live close by Moabit, so I run somewhere here, Tiergarten or uh, close to the Spree, to yep. the river. Yep. Others don't have as much green because they live further than these. Yes. Um, but long runs normally Grunewald for sure. Yes. Uh, unless today. And then it obviously depends on your session as well. Yes. So, um, if it's just an easy run, I run sometimes along the spray, sometimes further out of town, yeah. where there's more green, less people. Yeah. But Tempo obviously somewhere where there's good surface. Yes. Less people, less traffic lights. Yeah. Um, I, think we, yeah. I think we have a huge variability in terms of um, courses or yes. roads to run it. Park. Where do you do hill sprints though? Because I was uh, <laughs> I was looking for one yesterday to do some hill sprints, but I can't find almost. <laughs> yeah, that is a problem. Yeah. So we have in Grunewald there is the Teufelsberg, yes. Devil's Peak, with a old American uh, radar station on it. It's a man-made hill from the debris of the Second World War, and that's where we, at least in off-season, do our um, hill sprints. And yeah. um, the longest. Stretch we can do in one go is 800 meters. 80? 800. 800. 800. Okay. Not in terms of elevation. Yes. This distance. That's that, yes. And if it's just shorter ones, like 200 meters, we actually go to a bridge next to the uh, main station. Okay. Um, that's enough, yep. at least for that kind of session. Jen, how are you doing this morning? Doing good. Yeah, you got three weeks till the bell and half. You just went on a holiday. Yes. How's things? That's the key to running fast. Yes, that's, that's what I've heard. Relaxing. Yeah. And then testing out the new Invincibles. Uh, yes. Going for 25k ish. Yep, ish. See so yeah, how that four or five feels. Yeah. Yeah. And this will be my longest run three weeks out, which is usually how I like it. Yes, okay. And so far, what are your thoughts on the first lap of, with, the, with the Invincible 3s? They're bouncy. They're bouncy? <laughs> yeah. Have you come from using the 2s and 1s or...? No, I haven't. I okay. used to recover in Pegasus. Ah. But these oh, are much more change. forgiving, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, So is this your first run in them? Yeah. Okay. Just put them on this morning. Yeah, yeah. Feel good? Yeah. On a scale of 0 to 10, 10 being uh, heavy and 0 being super light, what are you giving for rating? Uh, one. Oh, they don't wow, feel, super light. Yeah, but not too light. Uh, yeah. Like, uncontrollable. Okay. okay. Yeah. And so rumor has it you might have a little race going on here between your, <laughs> your training partner and yourself in Berlin. Is that true? Always. Everything's a race. Okay. Between the whole field and yeah. your buddies. <laughs> but you're going for sub 80? Yes. Yes, okay. Yeah, what's, I would. What's your best today? Uh... 80 minutes and 45 seconds. Okay, so you're going to so, 46 off that. Hard feelings from last year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you might have a pace uh, here going sub 79, is that true? Ahead of you? This girl? Yes. Yes, hopefully. Okay. Lisa's my inspiration. <laughs> yeah. She just ran 79, we trained together, so okay. if she can do it, I can do it. Can we... you keep up with her in training? Oh yeah, yeah. We, went, we trained together. Oh, okay. Yeah. No excuse then. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Cheryl, so you're also three minutes out from the bell and half. You are hoping for a sub-80, but you've just come back from a little bit of injury. Tell us, uh, tell us where your mind's at with this with this race. And then also I want to hear about what you think about this race as well. Well, um, so it's been one of those strange runner's issues that you just get a little bit of pain when running, and so you've got to take it easy. So I haven't been doing the speed workouts or the volume that I'd planned. So I did Crash 82. Course now. 
yeah, 82 <laughs> minutes last year. And I'm gonna see if I can keep that, yeah. if I can put in some solid three weeks. Yeah. I guess you've got uh, about two and a half weeks until a few easy days, you'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna try and run with your, your training partners behind us? Let's see. We'll see, make a decision closer to the time. Yeah, let's see how the, work, like, the workouts go yeah. in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. If it feels good, we'll go fast. Okay. Yeah. Leave it all out there. That's the only way to go. Yeah. And we have a really great pace group this, yeah. this year, so I'm excited. Yeah. Awesome. Whatever it might be. How long have you been training with Bill and Chuck Club for? Since fall of 2019. Okay. So three and a half years now. Oh, that's so you were one of the first ones, probably. I was actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, I came in, I tried to join some random German clubs, yeah. but because, but yeah, um, they didn't really have that hard competitive edge and consistent training that I was looking for, uh, and also the team spirit. Yeah. So I was really looking for something like the varsity training that I used to do in the US, yeah. and through word of mouth, my coach at that time recommended me to Brian and Benny here at DC. Yeah. Never looked back. Yeah, nice. Um, what would you say is your favorite thing about the team? It's a tough question, maybe. But, but you, well, you, I mean, you're the person to ask. You've been here for uh, one of the longest times out of everyone here. Well, first of all, even though it has kind of a fun team spirit, which is what you look for in the running crews, everyone's still very much focused on a goal and they're driving. You're not going to be the one saying, Oh, we've got to do one more rep. Yeah. They're going to be pushing you yeah. to make that last one count so that you're falling at the end of the lap. Like, sure. last one to the doctor is one of our favorite photos. <laughs> so, yeah. I love that you don't have to compromise between fun and ambitious running. Yes. And I think that is kind of the, the idea behind the Yeah. Yep. And it's changed. It's changed over the past three years. We went from being a very small, exclusive group of about 15 people mostly guys, three or four girls, to being over 60 people, yeah, more than 40% women, blown up. all of them some of the top runners in Berlin, Yeah. and I mean, yeah, yeah. now we've even hosted last season the Berlin track night, yes. that was Lots of good athletes the there. most amazing vibes I've ever had yeah, yeah. at a track night. Yeah. So yeah, it's getting bigger, we're ambitious, yeah. and it's great to run with the team. Great answer. Are you wearing the Invisible Freeze today? I am actually. Okay. Just put them on this morning. Okay, so first one. Yep. With all of the advertisement that was going on about pillows and cushions and clouds, I was skeptical because I had the Invisible Ones. I like them a lot, the long ones on asphalt, but that's where it ends because they're kind of too squishy. Yes. A little bit too wide, a little bit too soft. You're not going to go fast on those. But these. Yeah, these have had a bit of an upgrade. A little bit narrower. Yep. You still feel the cushion, but also got a good bounce. Yes. They're definitely like a little them. bit more firm. Yeah. 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 I'm happy. Yeah. And so far, 10 kilometers in. Yeah. I feel good. And so, what do you think you'd uh, use them for more specifically? Just easy runs, long runs? For sure, long runs. Anything that's sort of like a bit of a more relaxed pace. The invincible ones were definitely my go to long run shoes. Yep. And now the threes probably are also going to be. Yeah. And then also, if you have. The style looks good too. It's not some crazy no. running shoe. It's not bright orange. No. You could just as easily take them to work. Yeah. Keep them nice and clean. Wear them for work. And then hit the track afterwards. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'd say this is pretty universal actually. Yeah. Any easy runs? Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for your review. <laughs> <laughs> Finished. Finished, yeah. How long did you go? Uh, 30k. 30k? Yeah. Wow. You got a marathon coming up? Oh. Yeah, in Boston, exactly. Oh, wow. So, first burn yeah, yeah. half. Yeah. And then, and then Boston marathon. Okay. Yeah. Was this your first time in the threes? In this uh, first long run, yeah. yeah. It works. It works. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Are you also thinking that they're a little bit more firm than the last ones, or what do you think? Oh, I think they're really soft. Okay. <laughs> For me, they're a little, little <laughs> okay. bit a touch too soft, but, but some people really love them. Yeah. <laughs> Have you, did, did you wear the ones and twos, or...? Yeah, uh, no. No. Actually not. Ah, oh, okay, so you have no. nothing to do. I, uh, no, I don't think okay. so. They're, they're firmer, right, than the other ones? Uh, people have different opinions, yeah, yeah. I think okay. uh, people think these are a bit more firm than those. Ah, okay, ones. cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, l I loved them. I had a great run, I must say. Yeah, okay, cool. What was your pace, average uh, pace? Um, 
first we started off slowly and then in between it was like 350s. Yeah. Nice. yeah. And Boston. then last, last, okay, it was rolling back. And what's the goal for Boston? 228. 228? 228, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I did uh, 109 in, the, in, in Barcelona in the half marathon. Oh, you should be easy. You want a 228? Yeah. 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 Uh, Boston is yeah. a little bit difficult. But yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. Have you run it? All the best. I have not. Okay. No, no, okay, okay. No. I don't have the I don't have the courage yet to do the hills. One day. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> what were you racing? Um, the shoes. I was racing in the Vaporfly 2. Okay. I love the Vaporfly 2. Yeah. And then the Vaporfly 3 I'm really excited about. Yeah, okay, you haven't tried them yet? Not yet, but I'm gonna soon. Next week? Yes, yes. exactly. Next okay, week. Cool. Awesome. awesome. Sounds good. Thanks.